August of 2016. Now, many factors had to line up in order for this to happen, including a developing El Nino in the East Pacific, record low Antarctic ice cover and heat waves over the southern US, Canada, Greenland and Russia. Those are all seasonal or day to day factors. But working in the background is climate change accelerated by human greenhouse gas emissions. Because of climate change, Earth's average temperature is now 1.9 degrees higher than it was in the 1880s. State of the atmosphere is just warmer than it used to be. Uh, and there's there's lots of evidence that points to that. And so when we have these little day to day variations now, since we're starting at a, a much warmer baseline, um, and any given day, we're, we're much more likely to set a record. Dr. Brian Brettschneider is a climate scientist with the National Weather Service in Alaska. He produces data visualizations that trace the signs of global warming, including this one, which shows significant warming in the Earth's oceans. Brettschneider says that a heat wave in the waters of the North Atlantic, circled here, are what really